So the number five seed kicks off the second game. And this Alhambra is open. Well, of those 31 matches that they've played, Rami Ashore, well, there's been 12 five-setters, and Rami Ashore has won 10 of those. Quite a few of those have been fairly comfortable fifth games as well. That is a slam dunk. That is phenomenal. Look at it. Look already the body language of Gaultier. Soon as he hits this, he immediately wants the ball back. And there is a strut about him. Yeah, that was magic. And that will give him a lot of confidence. You can see he's looking a lot more confident now up on the tee, looking for the volley. Well, the tempo's gone up. Gaultier's started to as you say, come on the T line and increase the tempo. He needs to wake up and uh, go for the jugular here. You know, he needs to make it a fast physical tempo, obviously with control, because he will get picked off. He needs to turn this into a physical affair. Rami Shaw, who doesn't play many events because of injury. I mean, I just he has practice matches, and of course he prepares well. He has to prepare well. You can't just be sitting on the sofa and then come in and win an event. I mean. Well, when that you've would got be even more amazing. When, you when you've got these other guys that uh, are training, you know, six hours a day and playing the, the competitive tour week in and week out. So I would like to see Gaultier make it a bit more physical. When he was playing Ryan Koskelly, that got very physical. And you could see Rami Ashour for the first time really finding it hard. He's bending over and he very rarely ever does that. It's quite hard to actually see him properly heaving and breathing, but he was against Koskelly. Yeah, it was testament to the form and the, the improvement of Ryan Koskelly, really, to, to push him that far. I'm sure he was very disappointed with, with losing in the end. It's not many players that can really work Romeo Shaw so hard because he's so economical and his, the way he reads the game is so fluid. to keep control of this cool. early stage. I don't think he will respond well being two games to love down against the Shaw Parkey, Gregory Gaultier. No, no, not with the with the history that he's got against Rami. I mean he's he's beaten the, the guy seven times but obviously lost twenty four and it's over a long period of time. Just forcing it a little bit there, Rami is short. Hey. But it's good from Gautier. He's doing the right thing, extending the rallies. Chin's jutting out now. Decision, gold gear. Short to gold gear. Video review is short. No, it has to be. I don't, I don't think this is uh, going to get much joy out of this, Rami is short. Looked like a stroke all day long, but... Uh, Myself and Joey have been surprised before with different angles. Yeah, that's got that's got to be a stroke. His his swing was completely impeded that. Ball straight back at the body of Rami Shaw. Poor shot down the middle. It's got to be a stroke. Yeah, that's, that's a good decision. I mean, I'm surprised Rami Ashour uh, wanted to review that because it, it just seemed so obvious to me. It was very close to the body, but of course, when you're a player and you're on there, you uh, kind of see everything your way.
Yeah, that's a phenomenal kill from Ashore. Such racket head speed from a very, very Hundo. short backswing. Hardly any backswing. Lots of wrist. Really whipping it in there and just halting the progress of Gautier in this second game. Joey, Greg Gautier was trying to pull away a little bit there, but Rami Ashur has not let him do so. Down. No, it's like he's got the uh, the old ferroband band on him. <laughs> Seen that training firsthand from Gregory Gautier, the resistance work, wanting to uh, unleash like a Jack Russell straining at the lead. Yeah, and then getting pulled back by Mathieu. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rami's in Mathieu's... Uh, position unbelievable to I, I had he came and did some some training uh, a long time ago uh, when he was staying with me in England and uh, I had to hold the uh, resistance band and it was uh, I was being pulled all over the court it was uh, it was quite unbelievable when he's doing the squash court movement he's done so much ghosting movement and Resistance movement on the court, very squash specific stuff, Gregory Gaultier, to have that uh, power in and out of the front corners. Yeah, he's, I think he's the most powerful mover in terms of getting in and out again. Right, it's immaculate. Spread and butter, Gaultier knows fully well. You just see him pointing there to use the lob, get it out of that area. And I think shoulder height on the backhand, it will be lights out. Just simmering, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. The accuracy got a full stretch there, Rami Ashur, on the backhand. A lot of players would flip the side wall or not quite oh. get the control or the pace right, but he gets it absolutely spot on, just bouncing at the back of the service box. And that is a very ambitious shot, Gregory Gaultier, trying to low kill it from behind Six, himself, five. deep in the back court. Shaw will register that straight away. Yeah, it's the kind of shot you play, don't you, when, you, when you're under pressure a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it's, it's very opportunistic. Forcing it, yeah. It's better. Nice pattern there from Gaultier. Oh. Just comes back with interest. Down. Well, he wanted to go for the, the big cross-court nick. Six all. He's going for the Hollywood, wasn't he? He was going for the Hollywood, hitting the top of the tin. Just nipping out of court. Well, I don't know what your French is like, Joey, but um, he's very, very annoyed with himself. Poor, it was the right shot, obviously, but uh, a bit unlucky there to clip the out of court line. And a poor error also from a short. He's trying to get himself fired up, isn't he? I mean, he's showing his frustration. I say he uh, has his heart on his sleeve, Gaultier. If it's going well, he shows it. If it's going badly, he also shows it. Well, as you said, he's fully aware of how crucial this second game is, really. He is a front runner. But both these guys are front runners, but that's poor. That's very poor. Didn't move his feet. Well, uh, he's uh, just looking at anything to get annoyed about. It's a poor shot selection and somebody now from the crowd seven. actually clapped and uh, it's not a good idea to do that. Oh. Everything is working in sync for sure though. He's hitting his movement. It's all so, so rhythmical and smooth. Oh, 
Could have been a stroke there if Gauthier had been a bit quicker onto that one. Slightly loose, and there's Ashur running through that, that ball on the forehand side. It's amazing, isn't it, with uh, with Ashur? It's good for Gauthier. There's a fist bump. And there's a Mathieu Benoit, the osteopath for Gregory Gaultier. It's a good squeeze, percentage shot. It certainly was, it didn't have to be particularly low, but it was literally clinging to the wall. Well, he got away with it there, Gregory Gaultier, because it was read by a short. It would have come back with interest, but uh, just slightly mistiming it. See it here, Parkey. He waits to hold, and he's, it's already read. It was already read by a short. Just reverting to some quality hitting now. A little bit more length stuff, just waiting for the opportunity at this business end. Always whips such a good width in, doesn't he, Rami Short? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, probably thinks about playing himself, what would you do if you had to play him? You'd have to hit very wide to get past his anticipation volley. Quality rally though, it's really building. Again, unbelievable width and that was great recovery from Gautier. Bit of improvisation again from Premier Short. This is more like it though, isn't it? Yeah. This is what we see so often with these guys is cat and mouse squash, restarting the rally up and down the walls and then the exchanges at the front of the court. It's gonna have to be a roar. Whatever happens at the end of this rally, surely the crowd here are gonna give it a, an acknowledgement. Oh, oh there it is. What a flip, what a rally. That's the rally well, of the match. Straight back at Omar Shabana there. He waited patiently, patiently. And then look at this, conjuring up his magic. Such Acknowledged a good delay, by wasn't Gaultier. It? <laughs> I think the whole crowd went the wrong yeah. way there. Even Jahangir Khan went the wrong way. And he didn't really go the wrong <laughs> way when he was playing. <laughs> never, never. Decision is short. Yes, left. So the crucial game ball for the Gaultier challenge in the semi final. Well, is Ashore going to go, go for something fairly early on in this rally? I've seen him do it so many times. Tight work. And he's gone for the patient <laughs> option. Oh, oh he's, he's made the unforced it. error. It was a real... Oh, great chance. They were getting on top of each other around the middle of the court. Gaultier had the ball on his racket on the volley, initially hitting it quite narrow at himself. Got a bit claustrophobic there, making that error. So uh, a bit of light for sure. Well, I, th I think he could have straightened that ball just using a bit of imp improvisation, but obviously easy, for you easy say. to say from here. Well, it's not, is it? Down. Oh, wow. 
I think he's saying, what do I do? How's it? Why is, how's yeah, that gone down? Well, I was keep it out balanced. of tin. Yeah, that's, that's simple, isn't do. it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't hit it as low. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, again, it's so easy, isn't it, to sit here? But yeah. uh, it's game ball for the first time for a sure. I think first opportunity he's gonna gonna get it, Parky. I think he is. It's just accelerated a little bit now again. Looking for an opportunity to pounce on something. Slightly loose, there we go. Oh, he's gone for that nick again. Gautier not quite made it. Great reaction. Perfect cross court, just a flick of the wrist. That's a lovely lob. Another fantastic rally from these two. get from Gaultier and he managed to get it there's a an appeal from ashore but I thought felt that that was okay it wasn't yeah. a double bounce I agree well, he's played it and he's made oh, the unforced error another error attention from Gregory Gaultier Ravi Ashore looking straight down our oh, lens there with his tongue out <laughs> Eighteen minute second game, a short steals it in the tie break twelve ten. He leads two games to love.